Austin is the land of opportunity, the land of hustle, the land of do whatever the fuck you want and people accept you. I was like, what's the hardest shit I could do? Are you gonna be in the car with me too? No, I'm doing it right oh, now. Oh, okay. No, no, oh, is no. it rolling right now? Yeah, it's rolling. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, literally chill. Like, it's, it's just, you know, these are just genuine questions that I've, you know, hopefully give you a chance yeah. to talk about it. Like, what's been on your mind? You just got back from a crazy trip. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of been a whirlwind of emotions, per se, yeah. for the past three months. Damn, it's April, actually, four months. Yeah. But so much has happened, so, I mean, I feel like I need a backstory to tell you the present story. Sure. You know, even past these couple months. So, in the military for four years. The not here. In the <laughs> <laughs> so, I was in the military for four years, and, I mean, for the past two with that contract, I wanted to get out. I wanted to get out. Sorry about that, I'm going to just no, you're good. this really quick. I wanted to get out so bad, right? Because I just knew that I could do greater, I could be more. And the time finally came, I did get out. Um, and I went and I traveled Europe for three months, backpacked, just lived out of two little backpacks, two little Gymshark backpacks. And uh, went to 10 countries. And even during that, like so many things changed. I actually had a girlfriend during that time when I lived in Virginia. And we broke up during my Europe trip and that like changed everything too because i was like i had this whole life that i thought i was going to do be with this girl travel in europe um i thought i was going to go to college um so yeah and then everything changed i left there and then i was like you know what i'm moving to texas um i went back home to southern california for uh two months for the holidays and then two days after christmas drove all the way to here to texas um, and yeah, so many things happened as well from then. I got my Mustang then, which has been a lifelong dream. And I think that's like a big part of my content and who, I don't know, my perception of me now too. Yeah. Um, like part of your, part of your personality. You know, yeah. In a cool way. Like, yeah, it yeah. definitely is part of my persona and my character now. Um, so yeah, did that. Um, and then during that time as well, once I got back from Europe, I was like going through heartbreak going through just so much changes. I, I was living in Virginia for the past three years, and I'm like, damn, look, what do I do now? And I just got done with two bodybuilding competitions. So I was like known as a bodybuilder, and I was like, I need to do some hard shit. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to run a marathon in two months after never running, never ran over four miles in my life. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to run it. So two months later, ran a marathon in Hawaii, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going with this hybrid stuff, which is kind of what my fitness content is based on now. Um, and then, so yeah, moved to Texas, and... Got really good friends here. Got a good base of people. Now we own a run club here. One of the biggest here in Austin called Raw Dog Run Club. Come every Saturday. <laughs> but, and things just keep elevating every single week. It's like I look back a week, two weeks, and I'm more of the person I always envisioned. And it's crazy to think about how it's all transpired over a four-month time period. Um, moving to Texas, I didn't know what to expect. I expected some good. I expected some change, but never expected this amount. And yeah, and then in other stuff, I mean, I'm traveling every other two weeks, it seems like. Um, I mean, I went to Gymshark, did photo shoots with them, which is surreal. That's something I've always wanted as a kid as well. So now I'm like, literally, like, I mean, seeing myself on the Gymshark website, seeing myself in Gymshark ads, like it's crazy and i'm like leveling up with them i'm knowing everyone like just like like david laid followed me and that was just like crazy i don't know i don't know if you know david laid I, of course I yeah <laughs> but i was like bro and like and i'm like doing photo shoots in front of him and it's like dude like i was like looking up to him when i was like 15 years old like an idol. yeah and so that was crazy um and then yeah i mean 
did some other cool stuff. Ran the Austin Marathon too, so I feel like I'm more solidified as a runner now. Um, yeah. Yeah, you did. I saw. Dude, that one was hard. That was hard. The hills were hard. But yeah, so everything's coming along exactly how I envisioned. And yeah, and then I went to freaking Asia, climbed or trekked Mount Everest Base Camp. And that was a crazy experience in itself, man. Like, I've never, I've never even hiked, honestly. I'm from the desert in Southern California, but I never was, like, an outdoor, like, let me go hike in the desert. No, nah, I never was like that. I was, like, just, I played baseball. I played sports. That was it. And I just decided to send this hike. And, man, it was super challenging, but one of the best experiences of my life. Um, it was uncomfortable. It was, you know, I showered once in 15 days. And it was just a matter of pushing even though I didn't want to and doing the damn thing even when I didn't want to. And just, I mean, experiencing culture is just crazy. My first time in Asia, spent almost three weeks there, so that was insane. And honestly, like, my perspective on just whole life changed. Like, came back just grateful, came back just open-minded of everything to where it's like, I don't want to say it's not that deep, but, like, my problems really aren't problems. And... I know that I could do so much more. I came back with like a fire under my ass. I came back. I'm, I'm going to run 50 miles in a month and a half now. And then I'm going to run two more marathons later in the year. The Sydney Marathon in Australia. And then the New York City Marathon, which I just got accepted into, which is really awesome. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That trip just kind of made me realize I could be so much more. And I could do more. And to take advantage of the opportunities that have been given to me through hard work, of course. That's, and that's, that, that's, that's all four months, man. That's all four months. That's, that's life living in Austin, Texas. Like everything that I am now, I had this vision. So like New Year's Eve, I always make a goal list um, and I post it. You know, if you follow my content, then you know, for the past three years, I've posted this goal list and the goal list I made last year in 2023 for 2024. Um... I, I wrote the person I envision, and it's exactly who I am now. Like, mind you, during this time, I was almost 210 pounds, like, bulked. I was totally bodybuilding guy um, and did not look the same at all. And I described exactly who I am now. I literally said, I'm going to have a 65 to 69 red Mustang. I'm going to have long hair. I'm going to have a nose piercing. I might even have earrings, which I do now. Um, and then I also said, like, I'm going to have a 70s look. Um, and then I'm going to get more tattoos and I'm going to be this like runner, very active guy, um, that everyone is known for and respects. And so like a lot of people are like, Oh, I could never in a million years dream it. But I feel like I always knew what I was capable of. And so I just needed the time. Yeah. Like I built this shit. Like I knew I could do this shit, but it's, it doesn't make it any less surreal. Like it's still surreal. And every single time something big happens, I'm like, holy crap, like, do I deserve this? How do I deserve this? What's, but I know that like I put in the work to get to where I am now. So I shouldn't be surprised of all the good things that are happening. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I, I forgot a huge thing I got with BPN subs, which has been my dream brand since I was 15 as well. Like I have Snapchat memories, Instagram stories of me promoting their brand and like saying like, I literally have a photo where it said, this would be my dream sponsor one day. This is end goal sponsor. And like, I posted with the products and like, I was like, I'm using code Dangler and Russ Swole. And like, now those guys are my friends. Like they follow me and like, I'm, I'm literally working out with like one of them tomorrow. And like, we're just homies. And it's like, I used to be such a fan and used to be a consumer of their products and like their message and everything. And now I'm one of the faces, like I'm doing YouTube videos with Nick Bear. Like Nick Bear is my coach now. And like, I would die even to just get a liked message back from him six years ago. And now, like, he's my bro. So, like I said, I never ran over four miles back in October. I did bodybuilding prep, and what I would do for my cardio, I would run two miles. But, dude, I was running at 11 30-minute paces. I remember just slow, slow jogging. Like, dude, looking at back at it now, 11.30 is literally, like, shuffling your feet. No, no offense if you're at that point. Like, I was, too. But, like, looking back at it now, it's like, damn, I was so slow. And, like, I know I was gassed. And I was, but I was like proud of myself too. Like, damn, I ran two miles. Let's fucking go. And now I'm looking back like, dude, like what? But it's always been difficult. Um, and that's why I do it because I was like, what's the hardest shit I could do mentally for me? 
I remember I told my friend. I told my buddy Luke Hopkins. I was like, yo, I'm never going to run a marathon. I just don't see any satisfaction in that. Like, why would I run 26 miles? For what, man? Like, I'd rather look good, be big, you know? But then I just got to a point where I was like, yo, that's hard. So let me do it. And that's kind of how I started this whole running stuff. And why, why I continue every single day? Because I don't like... Like, do I like waking up at 6 a.m. and going on a run? Like, not every single time. Sometimes I do, not going to lie. But not every day that I do. So it's like, that's the hardest thing I could do. Because anyone could just go walk into the gym at 5 p.m. And, you know, it's fun. Like, and you could just go through the motions. But, like, running, every single run is hard or rewarding. Every single run is, like, you're giving it your all, pretty much. So that's kind of my running journey. Austin is the land of opportunity, the land of hustle, the land of do whatever the fuck you want and people accept you. Man, um, it's just like I can wear whatever, I can be whoever, and I feel so embraced. Like, I remember moving and I was kind of scared like people were going to be like, ah, he moved from California, he's one of those dudes, or, you know, just another influencer moving to Austin, Texas, it's New California, stuff like that. But everyone, I... I don't think I've gotten any hate at all. If anything, people are like, dude, you're making Austin. You're like elevating it. And that's all I want to hear. Um, but Austin is just amazing. It has everything for me. I mean, I grew up in California, so I had the beach, you know, an hour and a half away. I had the mountains near me. I had everything possible. And I feel like Austin has exactly everything I want. Austin has Barton Springs. It has the water place for me to chill, to read to be out in the sun um and i one thing i especially love is a running community and just the community in general of fitness and health um you know you go out on a run shirtless no one bats an eye you go work out shirtless at a gym everyone loves that everyone eats it up um and so yeah like literally there's a girl running past us right now on a random street and i love it you know you don't get that everywhere um and it's young too i mean it's like 20 to 28 year olds and everyone's just hustling like if you're doing good people recognize that and they want to do good with you or want you to do good with them even if they're higher like the amount of connections i've made the amount of people that have just hitting me up randomly to be like yo let's do this let's do this you know i see potential in you you know even this interview i mean connor literally hit me up on a cold dm and was like yo man i just moved to austin i want to film some cool stuff and I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And that's just, I feel like, epitome of Austin. Um, you know, just being down and hustling. Let's go. Dude, that was so good. You just listen. That's, I think that's, that's perfect. Fire. Well done. Fire. Did you feel-